I'm here with Grandmaster Tejas Bakre. Uh, Tejas, you have so many roles that you played at the Chess Olympiad. Of course, you are the coach and trainer of India C team, and also you are in charge of some very important activities. Can you tell us a bit about it? Hi. Yeah. I mean, you see, when uh, the news of Olympiad broke, I mean, it was like so happy, so excited, you know, because it's kind of a dream of every chess player, you know. to be you know at the olympiad and it was a dream that you know olympiad is being held in india and it suddenly happened it came true kind of so i basically uh, took charge of the entire airport operations all the arrival departures and uh, of all the players and uh, it was a massive work because uh, you see almost like 2500 players are going to come so that's that huge that's crazy and uh, the beauty of it was you know uh, at some there were so many last minute changes and stuff like that and I was just the one point of contact. So I was also taking coordinating at Delhi Mumbai Airport also. So it was like uh, an amazing work that was done. And I must tell you that uh, the entire government machinery, the entire part of India, CSF, you know, immigration, customs, each one of them, I had a lot of meetings and they were so helpful in that uh, we had probably one of the fastest arrivals. And even some players have tweeted about it that it was a great experience at the. Airport. Do you think that your uh, experience of working at Air India helped you? Definitely. See, like uh, last uh, one and a half years, I've been handling entire Gujarat. Mm -hmm. I'm the head of Gujarat for Air India, so that experience definitely, you know, helped in making the plans. And it's uh, easy to coordinate with all the agencies once you are having the know-how and expertise of, you know, handling the airport. Can you tell us uh, one or two? issues or anecdotes which were very exciting because i'm sure when it comes to the airports and all it's always very very uh, time oriented you have to be very particular yeah absolutely you know uh, as i said you know suddenly like uh, uh, i'm getting messages and phone calls so i miss this flight i miss this connection oh. so i don't know when i'm going to come maybe this and that and stuff like that and uh, there were sudden issues that you know because we had said shared the list with everybody suddenly you know let's say the government is oh these people have not come what happened and then i'm uh, because of you know my good relations with all the airlines i'm suddenly calling up the airline head in different countries wow. and he said oh i'm confirming is not boarded and this guy says how is it possible that you know so quickly <laughs> that it is not boarded oh that's good <laughs> so i mean it's kind of uh, you know non stop non stop stuff like that. it was very exciting i and it must the, have been sleepless nights no absolutely totally so like one and a half months i would say very few nights and the four days of operations absolutely no sleep at all but the volunteers were also fantastic they really helped out a lot and the asf members the team that we had at the airport they also did a fantastic job yeah the volunteers when i arrived at the airport there were so many who gave a very warm welcome right i think that training was would not have been easy right to train so many people yeah i mean it was but uh, as i said the volunteers you know they are all chess enthusiasts which mm. is like the most important thing so for them also when they see you know meet all of you so it's like uh, and especially i think you came with giri so <laughs> i think they are all very excited we're looking forward okay this guy is coming <laughs> he's coming he's coming so they're all ready you know to welcome you all so, fantastic yeah. and it seems like when the tournament began began your work should have been done you should have been taking like nice rest but then you have the other role which is the coach of the indian c team right Uh, how stressful is that role so i think see uh, i'm the coach and captain of uh, team c and uh, you see i have a fantastic team they're all 2600 plus players they're all motivated and actually for me it's always you know to work for the country and this uh, role also was like very inspiring for me very challenging for me and i think so far we are doing a good job all fantastic. three indian teams are at the same points uh, india one takes on india 3 yeah. in the 7th round correct <laughs> so it's already a great achievement i think the way in which the team beat lithuania yesterday with 3 and half half right that was a dominating performance yeah i mean on a lighter note i just said you know boys win and come so that you can enjoy later <laughs> and we are almost going to crush 4-0 right uh, yeah but i think last one one game and it will draw yeah. so as as a trainer you see your team is filled with experience and youth you have surya with whom i'm sure you yourself have played so many tournaments right. you also have abhijit who is like the five time commonwealth champion and then the young guns kartikeyan murli and you know uh, so on so how do you uh, what is your role overall 
So basically, of course, you know, we decide on who is going to play. That is, of course, very critical decision. And of course, we discuss on the openings and other things like that. And because uh, you know, I have a lot of experience in um, team championships, especially. And uh, of course, Ganguly is, is since with me since ages. And of course. Uh, we have this very interesting Abhimanyu Puranik who is yes, debuting in the Olympiad. And also Setu, Setu Raman. Setu Raman comes with that uh, luck charm <laughs> because he was the uh, winner of the you know medal in the 2014. And of course, Murli is always young and energetic, ready to play. Abhijit Gupta also, you know, has versatile experience with this. So I think uh, we are all gelling up quite well and things are going good so far. It was unfortunate, very unlucky with Spain, we would have actually managed that draw. Hmm. But it uh, happens. So looking forward for a good five rounds. So uh, all the focus, a lot of focus has been on India one team because of course it has Hari, Vidit and then you have the focus on India two team because all the youngsters. Would you say that the India C team, uh, three team will be will prove to be a dark horse while not many are talking about it, they might move up ahead? Well, that's the plan. <laughs> And I think I even uh, wish he quoted about it, uh, I think in one of the articles that you got to look out for the CT. Because, I mean, they're all very experienced fighters and let's say if they were all at their peak, they probably would be in, you know, even the India A team, if we see their peak rating mm, and stuff right. like that. So, it's uh, quite a good format every team. So. And uh, now that the Olympiad is going on, you have done the airport related stuff, also the coach of the team. Uh, what are your feelings overall for this Olympiad when it comes to an end now, less than a week left? I forgot about the torch relay. I was handling the torch relay also. Oh, oh, please tell us. So, the entire torch relay for, you know, <coughs> assigning the grandmasters and, you know, rolling and coordinating with all the agencies, so I was also... So, every torch relay in every city right. had one or two GMs Correct. attending there Correct. and you were the one who was coordinating. Correct. With My all God. the agencies and all. Wow, that must yeah. also have been quite a task. Yeah, but you know, see, I took basically a couple of months leave from my office. So I was like, you know, fully 24 into 7. And all these things are like, you know, the craze that is going to go after this, you know, the torch relay, the Olympia, Jess is like absolutely everywhere. You know? mm. So I think it was the best time to, you know, get fully involved into it and see how well you can, you know, contribute for the development of the game. How, how do you see this Olympiad impacting Indian chess in the next few years? See, this Olympiad... It's not just about chess, right? See, 188, 184 countries have come, 185. And uh, what happens is when something of a global thing gets together, the impact is like magnanimous in nature. Okay, it's big, and you see like a lot of Indian uh, players, my friends, they are coaches of so many other teams. Mm. You see, so not just India, but the Indian... Uh, Chess is also going to go to many, mm. many countries in various different ways. And yes. we also see that now the FIDE election is also in India. So you see, uh, so we are, you know, obviously our roots are quite high. I mean, we are dominant, but our roots are even going to go deeper into various other countries. So it's not just India where it is, you know, going to grow because the torch went to 75 cities, right? And uh, if you see that it was supported very well by, you know, all the top uh, government is it all the uh, people involved in this and you know at some places we used to have crowd of 500 800 thousand know? so there was so much involvement and i see that for this olympiad people are just coming to watch from you know yeah. from various various cities not just india but even indians around the world they're just coming in to watch so imagine the impact this this olympiad has the number of created. tickets sold is huge yes yes it's humongous in fact uh, it's like absolutely incredible you know i mean uh, we used to say that, you know, chess is not a spectator sport, but come here and you'll see the spectators. <laughs> but uh, once the event is over, I guess you would take some rest, first of all, because it has been very tiring for you. Yeah, I mean, see, basically, when I go back to that work, it's again a 24-7 work, so there is no... <laughs> maybe two, three days break, yeah, before I join. <laughs> Tejas, thank you so much for your time. I think you have played a major role in the successful conduct of this Olympiad. I have spoken to people from many countries and they are rating this Olympiad as one of the best that they have ever visited. Absolutely, absolutely. It's thanks to the coordinator of All India Chess Federation, 
all the members are involved day and night and of course a great a big boost to the work that chess base india is doing because the way you have promoted chess not just in india throughout the world is just amazing you know i mean your fan following all the things that you do involving so many different ages all the new kind of things innovative things you do i mean it's going into you know lakhs and probably it may reach a crore very soon <laughs> thank you tejas okay. for these kind words and see you soon all the very best